She has to go. All right, she had to go. I, 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 I can't afford that anymore. I don't, we, we don't have money. Because of Blossom. Yeah. Remind me again why we shouldn't cry. Because Blossom is in heaven and she doesn't feel the pain she used to feel when she was here. And? And she want me to be happy. Good. But Bubbles, there is no chef to cook. Well? Buttercup, say hello to your new chef. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, watch me. I'm starting today. I, I, Captain. You're welcome, my Buttercup. You know I love you so much. Yeah, and I love you too. <laughs> We can't be stopped. Actually, Bob is really like you. Ah, uh, I know you like it. Now I'm the new chef. I have to go into the kitchen, covering my hair. Why? Because I can't cook with my wig on. Why can't you? <laughs> oh, my angel. Actually, I really like your earrings. You love everything. Yes, you can say that. So promise me. She will never cry again because of Blossom. Okay. Promise? Promise. I love you.
Yes, come in. Or is this a good time to talk? Yeah. Is it okay that the nanny returned? <sighs> Honestly, her being here kind of puts me under pressure. You know, I know she's willing to work without pay, but I mean, I'm not the kind of man that will have her here working and won't give us something, even if it's an allowance, no matter how small. I wonder why she's so intent on staying. Well, she was pretty close with my wife. They behaved like sisters. Yeah, I noticed their closeness, but I didn't think they were close enough for her to want to work with her pair. No, they were pretty close. Very close. And she was efficient as well. You know, I'm kind of happy that Ruby is in good hands. Even though um, I'm sad that I have suddenly become this man that can't even pay his domestic staff. You know, maybe I should open up the office. Maybe I should open up the office so I can help with the cash flow. I'm not in the mood to talk about work. But that business is dead. And right now I do not have the strength in me to summon up the passion that job will need. Well, see. The business is not dead. It was booming before you had to shut it down because of your wife's illness. Let's let's open it up again. We can start it up. Let me help. I've worked with you before. I can run it. Eugene, you're not the first to talk to me about opening that office. Okay, but I will think about it. All right. My head is just not in the right place right now. Bro, I just, I just want to help in whatever way I can. I appreciate that. Look, if there's anything you need, anything at all, I'm here for you, okay? I'm right here. Thank you. Okay. Just, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go. All right. Are you doing all this to impress Terry? I beg your pardon. I'm sorry I'm not trying to impress anyone. Fine. Okay then. Please leave the kitchen. I want to cook. I'm sorry, but you don't know her meal plan. What meal plan? She has a meal plan. Okay, I'll ask her. She doesn't know. And I'm assuming you do. Well, I always tell the chef what to make for her. Tell me then. Oh, please. I want to make her food myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I see what you're doing. Yeah, I can see through you. But you see this plan of yours? It won't work. You see, I am here to make sure my sister's family is okay. And I will not let you use Ruby to sneak in as a new madam. I do not have such plans. Not if you did, it won't work. Okay? Madam meal plan. Why don't you join us? Excuse me. What are you doing? I'm offering her the empty seat. Is there a problem with that? Yes, there is a problem. This is my sister's spot. Hey, Joyce, it's just a seat, okay? There's no big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal, okay? I'm sure she can eat in the kitchen. She's quite used to it. like she used to wear blossoms here. And by the way, you're not even part of the power of girls. You're supposed to be sitting right there. I, Buttercup, am supposed to be sitting here. Blossom here and Bubbles, where you're sitting. So, you can move on. It's okay. Alright, Ruby. Please, all of you join us. I will not have my sister disrespected. No one is disrespecting my wife. I yeah. won't let that happen. Then why are you inviting? Hey! Please. Can we all just sit and focus on the food right in front of us? Please. No. I want you there. Join us, please. Okay? I'm insisting. Madam, go on and get the spoon for us to dish out the food. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. And by the way, that's bad table manners. No, stop it. Okay, Ruby. It's okay. Yes, just need to please. It's okay. The next time you open that, you're dirty mouth to talk to me in that manner again. It's okay! Please!
Good morning, sir. Good morning, Oluchi. How are you? Fine, sir. Did you sleep well? Yes, sir. So, um, Oluchi, can you help me? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Good morning, ma. Okay, so Oluji, I need you to help me take Ruby to school today. Okay, I have an impromptu meeting I have to rush out for now. Yes, sir, why not? I, I can! Of course I can. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, she's my little miss. And in fact, I'll take her and bring her home. Okay. Okay, thank you. I have to rush out now, okay? Bye. Okay. You so badly want to be my sister, right? So now I need to reintroduce myself. Okay. The name is Dr. <laughs> Belinda Onoja. I just knew. I knew that was where you were going to. <laughs> We're not done yet, though. <clears throat> Belinda Onoja, PhD. PhD? You're too proud. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe you're a PhD holder. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes. Thank yes, you yes. for your support throughout the journey. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my love. How are you? Hi. Go to school? Yeah. Okay, so um, let me just briefly introduce the both of you, okay? Yeah. So, um, Princess, this is my friend, Dr. Belinda Noja with a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> and Doctor, this is my daughter, my Princess Ruby. AKA Buttercup of the Power Pop Girl. Ooh, that you are! <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and. Um, Sorry? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, um, and this is my sister in law. Oh. Joyce. Hello. 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 Uh, Ruby? Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ruby. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, she's so gone. Yes, yeah, you know how they say you just give birth to them and the next minute you're killing them out to marry them. <laughs> um, Terry, I'm so sorry for your loss. God gives, God takes. Glory to his name. And what is wrong with this dress? Nothing, but I'm not going to wear it. Why? Nothing. No, you can't tell me nothing. This is a beautiful dress. It will look so good on you. I think we need to call Bubbles right now. For what? So you can settle this argument once and for all. <sighs> Ruby, I am not arguing with you. I just need you to wear this dress. That's all. No. And you're forcing me to wear this dress that I don't want to wear. Oh, thank God, Bubbles is here. Please come and save his soul. Hey, what's the problem? There is no problem. Oh, there is a big problem. Oh, Buttercup, what is it? She wants me to wear what I don't want to wear. Um, I'm sorry. She will not wear those. Why? She's staying away from those dresses for now. Sorry. Hey, Buttercup. So tell me, what is the mood? Red and white. Hmm. Long or short? Short. All right, Captain. Okay. Yeah. Come here. Oh, yeah. Okay, better come. I have this. 
Perfect. Yes. Good. So we change. You come downstairs and have a glass of drink. Okay. Purple girls, we can't be stopped. Thank you. All right. Be fast. All right. to make my sister's child see me as incompetent. How exactly am I doing that? Tracy, why are you acting as if there's a competition here? I have known her for years. Wait, are you expecting me not to know her better? I don't care how long you've known her. I just need to play the right role in her life. You're going to have to choose what you will be in this house. It's either a chef or a nanny. Because I need you to butt off on anyone who is going to be my responsibility in this house. Well, I'm going to cook. And I'll take good care of her. Yes. And if you want us to do it together, let's do it together. But if you do not want, I have nothing else to say to you. Excuse me. Don't give me that. Do not give me that bullshit. Sis, I am trying to explain things to you. What are you trying to explain exactly? What are you trying to explain? Tell me. That I left my child with you. You locked her outside crying. Went out with the keys. Only for you to come back this morning. It wasn't intentional. Is it ever intentional with you? Is there any time it's intentional with it you? It was a mistake, okay? I... One before this one, it's also a mistake. Yes. That was also a mistake. I know, I know. Joycey. I've been the one putting things together in this house. Even when you're in this house. I practically had to call Oluchi to come back before her due date, after her mother's burial. If Oluchi hadn't come back to this house at the time she did, my child would have been lying down there crying. Because you refused to go and pick her up from school. And even when the teacher decided to bring her home, you were not there to open the door. Why are you like this? Why are you doing Fine. this? Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. Don't you see? I came back from the hospital crying. After I left the appointment that I struggled so hard to get. Do I have to beg you to take care of your niece? Do I have to beg you to take care of your own niece? This is sad. I'm done talking. Get out. They should have bent on making the food. Yes, So, I went to your room to look for you, but you were not there. I went to see Belinda off. What's the matter? 
I just want to be sure I'm not misunderstanding anything. Misunderstanding what? Terry, is there a specific reason I'm struggling for an opportunity to take your room? Joyce, what are you talking about? Your maid, Oluchi, walks in anytime I'm trying to bond with her and takes over. Is why is your domestic staff coming between my niece and I? Okay, it's not that deep. Okay, I feel you're misunderstanding her bond with Ruby. She has been her nanny for years. And I have been her aunt for longer. Okay, fine. I'll talk to her, okay? If you feel like you're not getting enough chance to bond with Ruby, I should actually take care of that. I'll talk to her. Please do. Guy, guy, just give me some time. Give me some time. I'm here now. I know my cousin needs He does whatever he likes, whatever, he, whenever he likes. I'm glad you're trying to gain his trust, though. You know what happened the last time now? I'm only here because of his wife's death. Yeah, but let's just give him some time. I'm sure when he starts fully trusting me, I'll do what needs to be done. This guy, you know what's up now? You know what's up? I wouldn't be here if I didn't need to be. The guy is even claiming to be broke right now, but we all know that's a lie. Yeah. Let's just give him some time. I'm sure he'll come around. I'll let you know when everything is set. Bye now. Bye now. Bye. Yeah. Serve dinner. Oh, just take your time, okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, sir. But then I want to talk to you about something. Okay, sir. So, um, Joyce, she'll be around for a while. And uh, she's actually trying to connect with Ruby. I don't know if there's a way you can help make that maybe easier, you know? Sure. Why not, sir? It's fine. Um, I'll try and see what I can do. But, sir, it depends on Ruby. And I also think Joyce needs time to understand Ruby. And also Ruby needs time to get used to having her around. Mm. You're right. Uh, sir, except you want me to completely go out of the way. Oh, no, no. That's not what I'm asking you to do. Um, Ruby is quite happy because you're around and I wouldn't want to change to that. All right, so, all right. Um, thank you, sir. All right, so I just... Yeah. Chef Ben, I want you back to this house now. What? Auntie Joyce, I'm not lying to you. Well, I don't believe you. How were you able to get a job this fast? Because Mr. Terry told us like two weeks before we left that he does not think he can keep us. So I started looking for a job since that time and I resumed the day after we left. Wait, are you saying you cannot come back? She has spoken to you. No, but we were talking to her in the car, but not to come back and embarrass Oga because of payment, and she refused. Ah, 
Okay. Did she tell you why she wanted to come back to the house? Yes. That she cannot leave Ruby. <sighs> Chef Ben, please. I want you to think of what I'm offering you. I need you back here. I need her away from the kitchen. You see that she does not cook well, Auntie. I don't care about that one. I just want her away from here. Or better still, I, 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 don't, I don't want her in control of a lot of things. Look, I'll find a way for your salary to be paid. I'll find a way. I, I don't know how I'll get the money. But just come back. I'll get you your money. I'm not sure I can come back, but let me think about it. Fine, just get back to me. Come in. What's up? Um, no, I'm actually just updating something that I'll be focusing on for now. Like business? Yes, please sit. Although it's not something on the scale I used to operate on before, I just need to put food on the table. I understand. I understand. So, what's up? I've, I've just been bombarded with so many ideas lately. I thought I should share some with you. But if there's not a good time, I could go and just come back to another time. Eugene, it's not that. It's just that I, I don't have the money to fund any of your ideas right now. You might actually like it enough to want to sell some small property. <laughs> sell some properties. <laughs> Eugene, Eugene, you're funny. Well, we will see about that. But um, can we talk about it tomorrow? I feel like um, I will not have the time you actually need to talk about this right now because of what I'm trying to do. Okay, it's fine. Okay, fine, fine. <clears throat> tomorrow then. All right, Eugene, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Why do I have to? You have to. Because she loves you. And I don't hate her. I know. But you have to be a little more friendly. I am friendly with her. Buttercup, you're trying to be smart. You know what I'm talking about. Fine, what do you need? Okay. You have to go look for her wherever she is. And when you get sleepy, you come back to your room. I'm already sleepy. Then you sleep on her body, okay? So that she can bring you back to your room. What is this going to do? Okay. It's going to help you bond better with her. Yes. What if she's not in her room? Then we will look for her wherever she is. So you're going to follow me? Mm. Yes, but I have to make sure she doesn't see me so that she will know it's coming from my baby's heart. Fine, but it's coming from your heart. It's your heart. Your heart. Okay, whatever. Papa girls, we, we can, can be stopped. stopped. Oh my God, my angel, you are amazing. I know I am. <sighs> I'm a pretty angel. <laughs> you seem happy. Yes. Wait, how did you come up with all these things you said to me? So, do you like them? Do I like them? Please sit. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> wow. I told you, I'm here for whatever you need. Yeah. And of course, you're not going to let me ask for them. Boy, you bombard me with it. <laughs> Look, you need this, but... I understand your hesitation, so 
I just wanted to show you what I can do if you let me. Hmm. So you really want to do this? You want to try to resuscitate the old company? Yes, and run it. I think that this company has been closed for three years. And all your clients gone. I know that. Look, T, I worked with... <laughs> it's been a while you called me T. I worked with you before I left, so I know a lot of your clients. And Terry, I can get them back. So you're just going to abandon all your dreams, everything you told me you were going to do when you get your PhD. You wanted to start your own company. Yes, yes, I'll do all of that in the future. Terry, let me do this for you. I know you had to spend all your money and time in taking care of your late wife, which cost you to close down the business. I know that. What are you, what are you so afraid of? What is the fear? I was just overwhelmed by the nostalgia of that time. That's why I really don't mind that the company stays short. I you're struggling with emotionally. That is why I went on a full rebranding on my own. You can see I changed the colors, the text fonts, the logo, practically everything. <laughs> I'm not even going to deny the fact that you did an amazing job. Hey, look at it. It looks so different. Thank you. <laughs> Terry, you are one of the best business and market research company. And you're also becoming a formidable product management company. So tell me, why would, why would you want all of that hard work to go to waste? Wait, how are you from paying your bills right now? And I have a few clients that I personally consult for. Okay. You tell me, look, I just need your permission to get to work. And look, whenever you're ready, you can come back. No pressure. Please. Okay. <laughs> you have my permission. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for trusting me, boss. Are you kidding me? I won't me? disappoint you. Trusting you. Who else will I trust? Do you know who you are? Dr. <laughs> Belinda Onoja. PhD. That's who else do I know that has a PhD and can manage a company well? Thank you so much, Terry. <laughs> Thank you. So Belinda. Oh yeah, he did. So what's up? Are you guys planning on getting back together? Hey guy, come on. Belinda and I are like past tense. It was a while ago now. Come on, bro. Both of you are single. She still looks good. Guy, calm down. Okay. 
I'm not in the mental space for that now. I'm not ready for any relationship. Besides, that's not what I called you here for. So, um, I'm planning on opening the office again. Oh, really? Yeah. Belinda will run it. Be Belinda? Yeah. But I want you to work with her. Well, why, why Belinda? <laughs> because she knows the office better than anyone. Because you've worked with her? Yes, because I worked with her. Well, I've worked with you too. You worked for me. There's a difference. Doesn't mean I can't do what she does. Akijin, okay, I'm not doubting your capability. Okay? But you can't trust it. What's up with you, bro? Did I talk, say anything about trust right now? I didn't talk about trust. You can't trust me after what happened. Guy, please do not go there. Okay? I wasn't thinking in that direction. I'm still thinking about it. I said do not go there. When I told you that, I, that I've forgiven you, I have. Okay? What I did is just make a simple decision without any bias. Okay? If you really want what's best for us, then you get ready to work with Belinda. I swear to God, Terry, just shut down and go down. If Zell's girlfriend is in charge, there's really nothing I can do. She'll do anything to satisfy Terry. And hey, listen, man, things can't go the way we planned anymore. Listen, I need to find new ways of doing this. I never knew Belinda was in town. I never even had her in mind. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Listen, listen, we need to find new ways of doing this thing. I told you, I told you this is my own way of getting my money. The way you get your money is your own business. I just want us to have our own thing. It's that simple. See, you know what, you know what? See, let me call you back. Let me call you back. I'm going clear my head, okay? I'll call you back when something comes up. I need you to kindly check on um, the chef and know what's going on. And then also help me confirm from my buttercup what's going on downstairs. <laughs> She's still sleeping. Okay. Thank you. Huh? What do you mean by that? Well, well, I, I had good intentions. Right? You had good intentions? By sending an official card that I bought for you. I, I, I had urgent matters that needed attending, so I just... I, I... You had urgent... Are you listening to this guy? Can you hear what he's saying? You had urgent, urgent, urgent matter and you couldn't even tell me! Well, I, I didn't think you would want to help. You didn't think what? You stay in a house that I rented for you. I pay you salary, I employ you in my own company, didn't I? I even gave you an official car and that's what you go to the village to tell them that I don't want to help you. Bro, after all you've done for me. After all I've done for you and that's what, that, this is how you want to repay me. Selling an official card that I bought for you and lying to me that it was stolen. I'm sorry. You're I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Of course you're sorry. And how in God's name did you even get my wife to not tell me about it for two good weeks? Baby, I no, 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 baby, don't get to do that. You don't. If I can trust anyone in this house, I should be able to trust you. Everyone should know that if you heard something, I have heard it. 
You people are just disappointing I'm me. I'm sorry, this babe. I'm sorry. Please. Oh. Anita, you know what? I'm very disappointed in you. My friend, would you remove this nonsense from my face? What's the meaning of that? Listen, don't you ever, don't you ever try this rubbish you just did again. For the fact that I'm quiet in this house doesn't mean I'm stupid. That would be unfair for you to think of me. I've been quiet in this house for the longest time because I expected that you were going to tell your brother about this. But obviously you don't want to tell him. Don't ever bring me into this issue. I am not scared of you. Okay? I am not scared of you. Don't try it again. Wait, 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 wait. So it's okay that he's angry at me? It's okay that he's mad at me, right? Oh! You are worried about that. You are worried about that. And yet you are the one that went and got a buyer. You sold the car and then squandered the money, not me. So what is my problem in this? I needed that money for something. I needed it urgently for something. Is there any time you don't need money for something? Is there any time you don't need money urgently? Tell me! That does not mean that you should sell something that was entrusted in your care and come back home to lie about it. If I hadn't gone to find out, I would not know that you were lying all the while. And then you come back here and you try to try to bring me in your shit. Don't do that again. Don't try it. Yeah, yeah. You're always trying to get in his good books. <laughs> really? Well, I'm sorry to let you know that I am his wife, and you are his brother. If you do not know how to mend a relationship between you and your brother, it is your business deal with it. But for me, I don't have a competition with you. Just leave my name out of your mouth. Go and sort out things with your brother. Don't call me in it. Get out of my room, please. What kind of rubbish is this one? Always looking for a way to bully me, to tell me bullshit in this house. Chevin is not back yet, and Buttercup is still sleeping. Which can not sleep with this one again now? What time is she going to sleep again in the night? Oh, she please help me check my, my, butter, my Buttercup. I know what she's, what's going on there. I know how she's doing. Please. Ma. I'm sorry, Ma. Oh, please. I think you have to let... Mr. Terry know that his brother is bullying you. No one is bullying me. Ma, sorry. I don't like the way he talks to you. Oluchi, please. I don't want my husband to hear about this. I beg you. Please. But there is no but, Oluchi. Please, just die this matter. I beg you. Okay. And please just check on my buttercup. You need to make her smoothie right now. Please just make something for her too. Thank you. I'm sorry, ma. Yes, come in. Joyce, how are you? I'm good. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Are you going out? Yes, I'm going to pick Ruby from school. But I've told you not to worry about that. Oh, I actually asked for that day. I know. Terry, you need help. The least you can do is accept the one I'm offering. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um... I would like us to have a conversation before I head to her school. Sure. Um, so I've given it a deep thought and I think I'd rather be here to help with Ruby because I know how much you worry about her. I actually do. I appreciate all the hands I can get. You know, I don't want her to be bored at any moment. I know. I also know my sister would prefer I'm here. So, I'd rather she's with family than strangers. Yeah, of course. Uh, 
I need a favor. Okay. While I'm here, I would want to start up a business. You know, something small just to... Really? Yes, and I'll need some money to start up. Okay, um, so how much are we looking at here? I can manage like three million naira. <laughs> what? Three million naira? That's a lot of money. <laughs> Terry, come on. Why are you making it look like three million is a big deal? Oh, well, that's because it actually is, especially right now for me. It is. <sighs> okay, I'll just quickly pick Ruby, then we'll have this conversation later. Oh no, I'll rather we finish talking about it now. Uh, can we do this later? I mean, what we can talk extensively. Okay. okay. Alright. How do I convince these people that I don't have money anymore? Blossom is better off in heaven. I know, but they started missing her in school. What happened in school? One of my classmates' birthday was today, and my mom came. <sighs> my brother called. I'm so sorry. My birthday is coming up, and Blossom is not there. <sighs> my baby. Don't worry. Blossom will be watching you from heaven. And I'm sure she wants you to be happy on that day. Sweetheart. You're crying. I miss Blossom. I'm so sorry. Sorry, but I didn't mean to cry. I know, sweetheart. But remember on your last birthday, we had great mom would like to see you cry. Yes, I remember. It's just that it was so sad. I didn't mean to cry. I'm sorry, my love. So, tell me what you told your mommy you wanted so we can do it for you. It was a secret between Blossom and I. But your mom is not here. I don't know what she chose. 
What do you mean? I give her two options to choose from. And she did? Yes. Okay. Um, did she tell you what she chose? No. Okay, so what did she choose? Uh, I don't know what she chose from. Okay. Um, so what are the options so I can choose? You can't present it like Blossom used to. Okay, so what can I do for you then? Nothing. Come on. Yes, come in. Please, can I take her with me so she can eat? Okay, I'll see that. Go eat, okay? Okay. <laughs> yes, oh my God, you're so heavy. Oh, you finished all the food in the house. Mm, what's in there? Mm. Joyce. Yeah, Terry. I came to ask you if I could organize a really nice birthday party for Ruby. I'm not sure she would like that. There is no child that will not like a birthday party. Okay then, maybe you should. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'll come up with a budget then, let you know. But the birthday is in a month's time. We still have time. I bet there is no week. Today's 29th. Oh my god. I've completely lost track of time. Um, maybe you should really come up with the budget and send it to me, okay? Sure. Alright. Yes, I did. Please. So, um, do you know how to organize a birthday party? Because um, Joyce is trying to organize a birthday party for Ruby. I was wondering if you could help her. I mean, you, you know most of the things she likes and you can help um, organize, bring um, friends from her school. I'm sorry, sir. She doesn't want that type of birthday. What? What do you mean? My buttercup just wants a birthday dinner. She told you that? No. Her late mom. What? Yes. She gave her late mom options to pick from for her seventh birthday. Okay, um, so what is it? I'm sorry, sir. I can't tell you. Oh no, but you have to tell me so that I can make sure they are available. No, it's fine. I already made plans for everything. Seriously? Yes. I'm sorry. Please. Please do not tell Joyce or Eugene. It's supposed to be a surprise for her. Please. That means the birthday party Joyce is trying to plan won't work? 
Um, sir, you can you can let her do what she wants to do, but please don't tell her. It's okay, I will find something to tell her. Okay, sir. Okay, so thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Are you happy now? A little. Okay. I need to see it. Oh, you can deceive me. So pick a number from one to ten. Mm. How happy are you? Mm. Don't calculate. Seven. Seven? Nah, that's not good enough for me. But that's above. Well, it's not good enough. I need it to be on nine or ten. Yeah. Do you want to try me? 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 Oh my God, you're laughing. Um, sorry, um, sorry, sir. Wait, what's going on here? What was this tickling me? Really? Oh, she's tickling you. Wow. So that tickling is like the secret to your <laughs> no, happiness, isn't no, it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm just so glad you're happy. No, I'm not going to tickle you again. At least your happiness is all I just need. I see you're happy now. I love you, my princess. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Buttercup, I have to go. Good night. Good night. Bubble girl, we can't be stopped. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you tickle. I will. <laughs> <laughs> You will not dare poke fingers into my eyes. What are you talking about? You will not try me. You hear me? You will not try me. Try you how? Hey, my love. Hi, Auntie Joyce. Hi, Vincent. Hi. <sighs> what are you doing? My assignment. Uh, do you need my help? No, please. Okay. Uh, princess? I want you to know that I am ready to do anything to make you happy. Okay. So, starting from your birthday, tell me whatever it is you want and I'll make it happen. I don't know. There's usually Blossom that tells me to give her options that she'll surprise me with one. That's great. Um, so why don't you tell me? Okay, please, I'm not in the mood. Okay. Um, so will you be in the mood, let's say tomorrow or in a few days? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'll just let you get back to your assignment.
<laughs> wow. I can't remember the last time I laughed. Wow. Laughter is good for you. It is. <laughs> uh, so? So what? You are dodging a particular question. And I do not mind repeating myself. What question? Don't you think it's time to start thinking of the possibility of dating again? Come on, Belinda. Linda, don't do this to me now. Don't Come do on. What? Don't do what? Look, your wife and I know would want you to move on. Or at least try. It's been almost two years since she passed. Yeah, but I mean, two years. It's not necessarily a long time. <sighs> well, it's long enough. So you are raising a young daughter. And you do know that your sister-in-law or the nanny will not be here forever. At some point, they have to move on to start their own family. You're right. No, Terry, look, I'm not saying this to scare you with the responsibility of raising no. Ruby. No, but you're actually right. You're not going to be here forever. I actually have to start giving that thought. Yeah, you need to. Um, you know what? Thanks for having lunch with me. <laughs> and for the endless gist, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always fun spending time with you. Yeah, it is. Um, I think I should get to going now. Okay, Doc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Regret going now. <coughs> Schemas. Close to a nice lady that could be like mom. Would you like that? Which nice lady? Hey, come on, stop frowning. But I need to meet the nice lady. 
Uh, well, I've not met her yet. I'm just thinking. Tell me about the nice lady. Um, okay, how about I introduce her to you soon? Please. Fine. <sighs> Okay, Look, this is my ID spot. That's your mind. If it's working for you, it should work for me. You can work for you. You can work for you. You can work for you. Dinner at my place or dinner at, the, at your own choice restaurant. <laughs> you didn't even ask me if I wanted to go to dinner while I'm fasting. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. Dinner at my place is okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to um, do something for a client now. All right, bye. Ooh. Okay. Joyce, good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm good. Uh, this is the list. It's everything we need. That's it. Is this 7.8 million I'm seeing here? Yes, that's the initial budget. <sighs> Joyce, this is expensive. Terry, why are you making it sound like we've not thrown a more expensive party for Ruby when my sister was alive? I mean, she was way too young to even appreciate it then. Look at it, Joyce, we had money back then. But this party is important. She didn't get to celebrate her birthday last year. Well, that was because she was mourning her mom not being around on her birthday. I didn't want to make things worse. Which is why we need to make it a memorable one for her. Joyce. I understand your need to try to make this work for her, right? But I can't afford this budget. Okay. What do you suggest then? Okay. So why don't we just have something in this sitting room, right? Just us and maybe a few friends. Something small. Is this what Oluchi suggested? What do you mean by that? Nothing. But I'll just leave the list with you. Give it a second thought and... There's no point. I've seen everything there is to see here. There's nothing else to see. Ter, are you... God. 7.8 million? What kind of party am I supposed to be throwing with 7.8 million at this time? show you the kind of decorations I'm talking about? No. Please. Why not? 
Nothing. Did Aluchi advise you not to have a party? No. What then did she say? Nothing. Ruby, I'm Auntie Joyce, please, I'm tired of the questions. They're exasperating. Fine. I'll let you be. <laughs> it sounds like this person is going to solve all my problems. <laughs> Where am I supposed to find this person? Okay, I'm not talking about solving all your problems or some perfect human being. Okay. So, explain this person to me. Of course, without the endless list of how beneficial it's going to be for me. <clears throat> well, the list is essentially all the ways your life will get easier with this person. <laughs> but first of all, let me ask you. Do you see yourself, you know, falling in love again? After Anita? Yes. Well, honestly, I think I can. But that's if I will allow myself to. Then I think you should get out of your own way. Terry, so you need to allow yourself for, for someone again. You cannot live life alone. And again, as I said, Anita would want you to move on. Yeah, I know, but you see, the problem is, I don't know if I have the energy to look for that one person. Well, you don't need to look far. Just think of someone that you've come to really like and admire, but I refuse to let yourself feel for. So this person, is it someone in the past or present? Anyone? Past, present. <laughs> Chef Ben, don't tell me that. Don't! You know my star was good to you, right? And how much are they paying that I cannot pay? I've told you I will get you your money, just come back. It doesn't matter. Okay, wow, you're not coming back. You are very ungrateful. Very, very ungrateful. Goodbye. Do you need anything? I want to talk to you. Um. About? What you heard about me. Um, I'm confused. Listen, I know you were close to Anita. Hmm? Did you tell Terry any terrible thing? She was too busy fighting for her life to talk about you. You always defend her. No, I'm just saying the truth. You must resent me as much as she did. Uh, no, she wasn't. She was just... She was just disappointed that with all the opportunities given to you, you still come back for more. So she said something after all, hmm? It's just my observation. I told you your observation make any difference. I'm sorry.
have here. Something to help you understand what you're studying better. Thank you, Bubble. You're welcome, my buttercup. Okay, let me give you. Thank you. Are you okay? Yes. Sure. Do I drop it for you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Bubbles, wait. I want to tell you something. Hmm. What is it, my buttercup? My daddy wants to introduce me to a nice lady. Hmm. Really? Yeah. But why are you smiling? Well, your daddy is a nice man. And he can't be single forever, so he needs a nice lady. Then why can't you be the nice lady? <laughs> well, I cannot be. But why? My daddy is nice. Yes, Buttercup. Your dad is actually the nicest man I've ever met. And then why can't it be you, Bubbles? Well, that's because your dad and I have nothing in common. Besides, hmm, hmm, I have a guy on my streets. Yes. <laughs> Bubbles, tell me. Ah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> you tell no. me. Tell me. Tell me. Okay. Tell me. I'll tell you later. Don't tell me later. I'll think about it. Don't you dare think about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> Come here. Oh, my buttercup. Just tell me about I'll it. I'll think about it. Oh, uh, just give me a clue. Uh, don't think about it. Think about it quickly. I know it seemed like I was pushing too much for the party. I'm sorry. I only want Ruby to have a good time. I understand you wanted this for her, but I honestly do not have the money to foot that kind of a party. Okay? Um, I'll let you put together something small for her. Fine, if you say so. I guess we should be focusing on the business I told you then, which you also complained of the money. Well, if you say three million is a lot, we can do two million then. That's reasonable. I mean, I cannot be here doing nothing and wasting my life. Oh, no. Why? God forbid that I let you waste your life on my own account. No. You know what I suggest? I suggest that um, maybe you should start visiting. Okay? Yes, that way you'll be able to have time to focus on trying something else for yourself. I'm not complaining about staying here. I don't have a problem with that. Ruby needs me. Yeah, but she has Oluchi. Oluchi is not family. Moreover, I'm trying everything possible to make up for the time I was away during my sister's illness. Your sister explained your absence to me. 
She told me she asked you to go on and pursue your career. She didn't want you to be held down by her illness. Say sorry. Hmm? Sorry. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Thank you. It's noisy. Hey. Did you get the message I sent you? Yes, I saw the message, but I didn't have anything to say about it. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? I don't understand. That's, that's a ridiculous demand. Where am I supposed to get that from? Oh, sis. Sis, I have needs now, eh? I have needs. So I should do what exactly to raise that money for you? Are you the one asking this question? No, seriously. <laughs> Sis, you know that I have taken so much of my personal time to be here with you, to stand by you, rendering services to you. But that does not take away the fact that I have bills to pay. Joyce, I've always supported you. I've always given you monies even before you came to this house. Helping you or supporting you has never been a problem. So where's all this coming from? And I have always been grateful. In fact, I can say thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So wait, I want to ask you a question. Are you charging me? Are you trying to charge me for coming to my house to help me as my sister? Are you charging me? Do you want me to pay you for that? <laughs> Joyce, if I was not sick, I will not call you to come here and do anything for me. So what is all this about? So because of ordinary money I asked you, that's why you're crying. Eh? The simple thing you should just do is ask your husband. Because he plucks money from trees or what? Does he pluck money from trees? Okay. Mm. I'm sorry for asking you for money. I'm very, very sorry. Well, you leave me no choice. I will have to leave this house. Because I have bills to take care of. I have a lot of things to do. You know what? Just go. Get out. And go. Then you don't have to come back here again. Go and have fun. Go and do what you want to do. Just go. Don't come back again, please. So I never ever questioned your absence. For once, I understood. Which is why I am trying to be here now. But you don't have to be here. Okay, I don't want you to waste your time. Okay, just go on there. Just visit. Okay, just go. Have time. See what's out there for you. Because I, I really don't want you to waste your time. Terry, you have changed a lot. He, he used to be so fun and easy to get things from you. Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry about that. Okay, I, I am not that person right now. I, maybe sometime in the future, I'll be able to do all of that, but not now. I don't have anything. Okay? Okay, 
so. Give me the good news, okay? No rushing me. I'm, I'm rushing you. Sweet time. No, 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 no. Give me the good news. I got two of our old clients back. What? <laughs> I did. Whoa, 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 whoa. You did? I did. Oh my God, you are amazing. I know, I know. I told you, I am so ready for this. <laughs> yeah. So I was so happy and I wanted to share it with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Happy as well. <laughs> Sorry, I have to take this. Okay. Hello, Mike, what's up? Oh, okay. Um, I'm rushing up to my laptop right now so that I can check it. Alright. Alright, just give me a minute. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's so lovely to see you again. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, oh. yeah, I'm really sorry I have to say this, but I just have to because of how cute you two look. <laughs> Terry and I. Of course. <laughs> no. I am excited about the possibility of someone like you that can make you happy after losing my sister. Uh, I don't understand what you mean. Come on. Don't tell me you don't know. What? Terry likes you. <laughs> he does. Yes. And I'm sure my sister would want him to move on and be happy. Yeah, I'm sure she would. You know, your sister was an amazing woman. Terry always talked about her and I met her a few times. But, <laughs> Terry and I, no, there's... There's nothing there. Yet? <laughs> Yet? <laughs> well, um, just a little advice from me to you. If you want him, hold on to him tightly. Because there is somebody in this house, our maid, Oluchi. She really has her eyes on him. So make sure you grab him and hold on to him. <laughs> just a little advice to you, okay? Thank you. Um, I'll just let you be enjoy yourself. Do you. you need anything? Well, I'm, okay. good. I'm good. You sure? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, oh, hi, Belinda. Yeah. Hmm. So, I'm done. It was nice chatting with you. I just wanted to talk to you before I went to sleep. Fine. But when am I going to meet the nice lady? Um the answer's gonna be there. Okay, soon. Please hurry up. Hurry up, I really wanna meet her. I need to approve some things. No, family comes first. I need to approve her. Oh. Okay. Um okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to like um call her. Really? Yes. Yes, really. Tell me yes. Okay. Hey. Okay, um, just checking to know if you go home safe. Okay. All right, so um, it's my daughter's birthday soon and I want to officially invite you for it. Okay. And yes, of course, use the opportunity to introduce both of you so you can get to, to know her well. All right, all right. I will communicate the time to you once it's concluded. All right. Bye. You are lucky, you are lucky now. You're happy now? Yes. Yes. Okay, now it's time to go to bed. 
don't want to sleep. Ah, you have to. Come on. You don't want to be a princess, eh? Stop. You're using that to bribe me. <laughs> Briber. It's your birthday and you have to look really good, okay? Please. Please. Oh, please. It's my birthday. I can look any time I want to look. But you can't greet. You're still working hard for Terry's approval. We still not see you. Welcome. Frowning. Hmm. Hmm? I'm fine, sir. No, you're not. I can see it on your face. You're not. Oh, yeah, sir. Um, the sun is hot outside. Oh, I see. Yeah. The market. Yes, sir. Yes. So where are we going for party preparations? Oh, um, sir, I'll, I'll be going home tomorrow morning to get everything I bought. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for everything you've done. Ruby deserves it. She does. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. And Gerald, okay. But Bubbles, what if I don't like the nice auntie? Well, why don't you wait until you meet with her first? Hmm? If I like her, will you leave? Um. Well, I can stay if she wants me to stay. But even if she doesn't want me to stay, I will always come around to visit you. Please let her tell you to stay. <laughs> um, oh, my baby. Now I am ready to sleep. Okay, let me just finish up folding this. You need help? No. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, pop girls, we can't be stuck. Aww. Yeah. No good night kiss for me. Good night. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, night night. Night. Oh, 
three buttercup. Hi, Bubbles. Hi. So tell me how is school today? It was okay. Hmm. I want to show you something. Okay. Hmm. It's a surprise. Tell me. Uh, tell me now. <laughs> okay. Tell me. Okay. Okay. Ta -da. What is this? Well, my engagement ring. Who did this to you? Hmm. Why don't you guess? The boy on your street? You guessed right! <laughs> it's beautiful, right? Papa! Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm glad you like it. Yes. So I will um, work on another brief and send it to you next week. Okay then. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Us. What? There's a boy she like. Mm -mm. There's a boy that likes her and, and give her a ring. No, she wants to marry him. I mean, she wants to marry her. And now they are leaving us. Wait, she's engaged. Yes, I can't believe her. That's so much betraying. So that engagement is a good thing. That it is a big problem. The boy wants to take her from me, bubbles from me. Yeah, true. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I will talk to her not to leave us immediately. Okay? Let's go speak to her. No, I have to. Okay, let me just send the file, okay? Just give me a minute. Husband. 
Ih, mimi. Oh, vou se fazer da outra. My boots are cold. But you're supposed to be happy for me. How can I be happy when you're leaving me? Oh no. But I'm not leaving you now. Can you stay here for the next five years? <laughs> okay. If that is what you want, I'll work on it and see how that goes. Is that fine? Don't give me a smile. That's a fake smile. A genuine one. Good. <laughs> You're still wearing your uniform. Up, 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 up. Let's go! Hey! Oh! Your wait! Hey! Hey! Oluchi, latest bride in town. Wow! So you found time to date. Joyce, please. Just let me be. I don't have time today. Please. Me. Hey. <laughs> you have got to. No, Ruchi, I'm talking to you. You have God too. No, my sister gave you a lot of gods in this house. That's why you can open your mouth and you are looking at me. You can look at me and talk back at me. I don't blame you. I'm sure if she had the opportunity, she would pick you as a sister over me. You know, maybe it has something to do with you. Because you're always thinking of yourself. You're never there for her. Get the message I sent you. Yes, I saw the message, but I didn't have anything to say about it. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I don't understand. That's that's a ridiculous demand. Where am I supposed to get that from? Oh, sis. Sis, I have needs now, eh? I have needs. So I should do what exactly to raise that money for you? Are you the one asking this question? No, seriously. Sis, you know that I have taken so much of my personal time to be here with you, to stand by you, rendering services to you. But that does not take away the facts that I have bills to pay. Joyce, I've always supported you. I've always given you monies even before you came to this house. Helping you or supporting you has never been a problem. So where's all this coming from? And I have always been grateful. In fact, I can say thank you again. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So wait, I want to ask you a question. Are you charging me? Are you trying to charge me for coming to my house to help me as my sister? Are you charging me? Do you want me to pay you for that? <sighs> Joyce, if I was not sick, I will not call you to come here and do anything for me. So what is all this about? So because of ordinary money I asked you, that's why you're crying. Eh? The simple thing you should just do is ask your husband. Because he plucks money from trees or what? Does he pluck money from trees? Okay. Mm. I'm sorry for asking you for money. I'm very, very sorry. But you leave me no choice. I will have to leave this house. Because I have bills to take care of. I have a lot of things to do. You know what? Just go. Get out. And go. And you don't have to come back here again. Go and have fun. Go and do what you want to do. Just go. Don't come back again, please. Joyce, just go. I don't have strength to talk to this. Just go. I don't want water, please. I'm tired of taking water. <laughs> Just go, Joyce. Just go. Hey, hey. It's okay. 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 Please, ma. Please, ma. Please, please, please. Those of you out there who are families that are diligently and selflessly working for you, you really don't know what you have. Always appreciate them. It's okay. It's okay. Blue <laughs> Jean. It's okay. Please, my husband must not hear about this. I beg you. Please. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. <laughs> My sister. My sister wants me to pay her. After everything I've done for that girl, she wants me to pay her for coming to take care of me. Hey, hey, ma. Hey, ma. I can do. I can do everything, okay? Don't worry. Jane, you have done so much. You have been working for me diligently. You have done everything for me. You have been there for me. <laughs> you can't do everything. No. You can't. Would you please? From now on, I just need you to be in this house. I don't want you to go to the hospital again. Because I need you to stay and take care of take care of my baby. I don't want that girl close to my child. Please. Please. 
The other time, I saw her. I saw her raising her voice and shouting at my baby. The innocent child. Her niece. Please, I just need you to be there for that girl. Please, I please. Who is going to help you in and out of your car? And who is also going to help you into the hospital? Please. <clears throat> My husband will. Don't worry, I'll ask Terry to take permission from his office whenever I need to go to the hospital. He'll take me. But I don't just want that girl close to my daughter. Okay. I just need you to be there for her. Please. Okay. It's okay, please. It's okay. I don't want you, you to cry. I don't like you to cry, please. Thank don't you. worry, you'll be fine. Nothing is gonna happen to you because I'm here with you, okay? Hey, hey, man. Listen to me. Ah! No, 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 no. Just listen to me. You're not going anywhere. I'm here for you. Nothing is going to happen to you. I promise you. Thank you. Thank you. you have me. Thank you. God bless you. God, God please don't let anything happen to her. Please, God I thank you. you. Thank you. Please, I'm here for you. Please, man. Ma, you have to be strong. Please. Thank you. You have to be strong. Thank you. <sighs> Something to do with your stupid sense of importance. Joyce, please, I beg you. It's very late and I'm tired. I'm really cranky right now. Mm. I need to finish all these things. Why? <laughs> you, 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 you what? Cranky? Wow, well, Alicia, you're not doing grammar. See you speaking big, big English. Eh? Yeah. All thanks to your sister. She took me off the streets and made sure I went to school. And you're still a servant. You know, if that's all you see, it's fine. That is all there is to see. Nothing more. Oh, I cannot wait for you to leave this house. Oh, yeah, I know. So that you can have every opportunity to make Mr. Terry dry. Just the way you did to your sister. Payment for every kindness. You don't know the nonsense you are talking about. You know, I don't know how you and Auntie Anita are sisters. You're unkind and mean. And your sister, she's humble. She's one of the sweetest person I've ever met in my life. And the way she loved me is the reason why I'll never, ever abandon a child. So you can insult me. It's fine. You are very stupid. It's okay. I'll not let you use Ruby Care as a transaction. As long as I'm in this house. Excuse me. Well, I was getting ready for you. Okay, let's start with this. What's that? It's a surprise. <laughs> hey. Surprise is kind of high. That's exactly what I told Blossom. I'm looking like a Barbie here. Yes. And Blossom said you will make a beautiful princess wearing this cute outfit. Thank you, Baba. <laughs> yes, my angel. So, 
just before then. Excuse me, guys. High five? <laughs> no! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my angel. Thank you, Bubbles. Yeah. Big crying. It's your birthday. I would have cried your birthday. It's okay. So, I'm sorry. There's one more thing I wanted on my list, but it's okay. I love my dress. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm. And guess what? What? I made a nice meal for you for dinner. Okay. So, stand up, Bubbles. Designer lady spirits coming up. Oh, okay. Are you checking me out? Yes. Why? Uh, I think we should use a chain so we can look like two birdies from the magical kingdom. Ooh. To both be pretty. Okay, so tell me. How beautiful. 100%! Aye, aye, Buzz! You are my boss. You are my boss. Too. You are my boss. Okay, it's time for us to get ready. Okay. Papa girls, we can't be stopped. So it's time for me to go get ready. Hi, hi, Captain. You are my Captain too. It's your birthday. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much, Blossom, for giving me bubbles. Yes! Yeah. I'm gonna grab like this. Yes. You're holding me. I hope you're not safe. I'm not safe. Are you sure? Are you okay. Yeah. Thank you, Bubbles. Yes. Sorry. Be careful, baby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! He's exactly where it was. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, princess. Hello. 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 Hey, my queen. Yeah. <laughs> I am Burke. Yeah. Yes, you are Buttercup. Come here, princess. Thank my you, princess. Papa. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, thank you, my brother. Oh, okay. Yes, please. I think I should close. Oh, my princess. 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 Oh, my
Blossom is in heaven and still answering all my wishes. Yes, we thought she is. Yes, my buttercup. I told you. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping. This is really nice. Yeah, anything for Buttercup. Buttercup. The canteen is really good. Very good. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bubble. And what do we say? Papa Griff, we, we can't, can't be stopped. stopped. Happy birthday, my love. <laughs> yeah, we can't be stopped. Me, even though you introduced me to you, as you promised. Oh, I'm sorry, I got busy with a whole lot of things. You seem taken by your nanny. She's engaged. You look like you're bothered by that. Oh, yes, she has been incredible with Ruby. Just with Ruby. Hey, come on, she's engaged. <laughs> yes, you said that before. Uh, you know what, I'll call you. Okay, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. What's wrong with the ring? Huh? What's wrong with the ring? Um, um, oh, sir. It's a little bit tight. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Maybe you should use soap. It'll come off easily if you use soap. Yeah, then you can give it back to him so he could um, maybe go get your right size. Yes. Yeah, he should have got to my right size. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. You look good. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Everything you do. Appreciate it. It's okay, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Babu said I should ask you what you want to eat for dinner. What I would eat? 
Honestly, I'll just eat anything she cooks. She knew you were gonna say anything. Seriously? Yes. She knows me like that. Yes, a lot. <laughs> you guys are fit for each other. <laughs> Come on, princess. Okay, just tell I said anything, okay? Okay. Bubbles, you're right! It is <laughs> anything! She knows me like that. <laughs> Shoot him, man. So, you were saying? Anything? Can you talk? Yes. Okay. Um. So I usually talk to my wife about these kind of things, but as it is, um, there's no one who knows about everything going on in this house better than you. I'm sorry, sir. No, it's fine. It's fine. So I'm thinking of taking a loan. I, um, Eugene and Joyce have been on my neck for the past couple of weeks and, you know, it's just something my wife said to me. It kept ringing in my head every time I want to consider whatever they so, ask. So please, don't do it. Why? Please. Sir. If Auntie Anita was alive, she wouldn't allow you. And I'll support her. So I'm sorry. But Eugene needs to go out there and get some money to do whatever he wants to do. He needs to stop depending on you for money. And Joyce, she can come whenever you're ready to support her. The time is not now. Especially not when you've really supported them over the years. Sir, please. Why do you still work here? You graduated while my wife was still here. You could be working anywhere, but why are you here? I want to be sure my Ruby is okay. Do you love him? What? Sorry. It's okay, I'm done, okay? Well, wait, excuse me. Look, I'm terrified that you're leaving. Okay, I know it's a terrible thing and a selfish thing of me to say, but Ruby is not the only one who doesn't want you to leave. So, when you, you want to leave, can you just like tell me a bit early? So probably we could just we could build the capacity to to withstand to withstand your absence. Yeah. Um, okay, sir.
By what money? The two million I've been asking for. Say I'm asking for just two million naira. I'm not asking for so much. Two million naira. I've been patient, you know. Yes, I've been very patient. It's not like I'm asking you to sell your house or do something illegal. Just give me this money and making it look like it's a big deal. Why are you being mean and stingy? I know you have this money, so give it to me. What's the problem? You're just keeping me in this house for nothing. Haba, please give me this money, please. Joyce. Yes. I want you to go in there, pack your things and leave this house now. I don't understand. Go in there, pack your things and leave this house now. Terry, this is my sister's house. Oh, wow. Yeah, your sister's house. Yes. So this is your sister's house, eh? But all you have done is cost me pain. You and that brother of mine have cost me serious pain. Look. Joyce, go in there, pack your things and leave this house now! Now! Fine! Fine, okay? I will leave. But I promise you, you will regret it. Babe, you're not sleeping. Is everything okay? Yeah, just thinking of collecting some more loan. Some? Collect 
tomorrow night. Why do you have to do that? I mean, we already finished paying the bills at the hospital. And we need to manage a little that we have before we work, you know, to gather the remaining money so we can pay off the remaining bills. So why do you need to take more loans? I know. It's just that Eugene, the guy has been blowing up my phone since, asking for money. And because we don't get to tell them how much we've really spent on your hospital bills, they don't really know that we don't have money right now. Baby, listen to me. We are not going to take a burden that we cannot bear. I need you to tell everybody, your family, my family, friends, everyone, that we do not have money. And why is Eugene putting you through this kind of stress? Like he's not part of the company that you just closed down recently. Isn't that supposed to be enough reason for him to understand that you need every help and support that you can get at this point in time? Babe, anybody calls you, hand the phone to me. I will tell the person that we do not have money. Okay? That your kind heart does not mean you should go and die. You know. comfortable with the way they kept asking me for money. The way they reacted to the discussion I had with them, it confirmed everything I needed to know. They were not here for Ruby or me. They just came to the place they usually get money. But unfortunately for them, of course, things has changed. related to me or my wife. So you're not expected to care more than just do your job. But you were there for my wife. She relied on you for everything. You would literally kill for Ruby. And you stood up for me. I appreciate it. really hurt letting you go. You know, the thought of it alone makes me sick.
Rosa. There was a princess, go, 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 Hi, Bubbles. Hey, Buttercup. So it's just the three of us now. And why does that make you so happy? I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> Anyways, go call your dad and tell him food is ready. Okay. I'm going to tell him that the food is going to be perfecto. 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 Okay, okay, now hurry, hurry. Okay. Be fast. The food is good. Oh, it's super nice. What is it? I don't know if daddy is crying because he looks sad and he's saying he's not hungry. He okay, I will go get that. Okay, don't worry. Mm -hmm. All right? Hey, but I can't smile for me. I can't smile. The happiness comes from within. And my papa is crying. How can I smile? Okay, don't worry. I'll get him done right now. Oh, the food is perfect, so maybe you come down like that. Oh. Say that I told you I'm not hungry. You're crying. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not leaving. Just leave whenever you're ready, okay? You didn't sign up to stay with us and take care of Ruby forever. Okay, look. If I was your Fiancé, I won't waste any time, all right? There's no fiancé. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, sir. I bought the ring myself. What? Yes. I'm sorry. Eugene and Joyce will let me be. They said I was doing everything because of you. So, I had to buy the ring so they can let me be. Sir, I'm really sorry if I made you sad. So you're telling me there's no guy, there's no fiancé, nothing? Sir, I... There's no fiancé, there's no one in my life because when do I even have the time to meet with my man or something? to tell you good night. Okay, sir. Um, good night. 
Good night, sir. Good night. Do you need anything? No. Do you? Uh, no. Uh, water? No. I... Go to sleep. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, good night. had a sense of urgency. Yes. So, um, you remember when you told me to think if I had anyone that I like but I've not been able to make myself feel anything for the person? Mm -hmm. Yes. But I just figured out who that person is. You? Who? Oluchi. What? You know, ever since my wife died, whenever the thought of the possibility of being with someone comes to my mind, she comes to my mind. But then I've not had myself act towards it. I always push it away because I feel I will be betraying my wife. But then, when it came to me that she will believe in me. The thoughts of it, it almost broke me. Because she takes care of Ruby. You know, that's, that's the funny thing. You know, I used to think I needed her around because of Ruby. You know, last night I came to the conclusion that if she leaves, I would send Ruby to my mother-in-law, right? Because I know my mother-in-law would take care of Ruby with everything she's got. But then that was when I felt the most pain. I was like, so if Ruby is being taken care of by my mother-in-law, who takes care of me? So she's, uh, she's the one that can take care of you? Yeah. Well, I can't tell, but I really have to give her the chance. I so want her to. I just want to take care of her. Just, she's so nice, so intelligent. She's amazing. She's beautiful. And I just want to take care of her. I just want to spoil her. I want to tell her thank you. Thank you because she's been amazing to me. Do you know, I survived the loss of my wife because of her. Wow. Um, so, have you, have you told her? Now, I, in a way, kind of, I said it. Look, I just told you this because of how important your friendship is to me. I appreciate that. You probably won't tell us to. I want nothing. 
nothing. So you and I are friends. And we've been for a very long time. So if she's the one then, she's the one. I'm only happy that you told me. You honored me with that. <laughs> but <laughs> she better stay good, otherwise she'll have me to contend with. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I think I need to go back to the office. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Just see you. Good evening, sir. Sir. How hard is it going to be for you to drop the sir thing? Hmm? <sighs> I think of me as something other than a boss. Especially after that case. Sir. I don't know, sir. <laughs> um, we need to talk. The three of us. Stop the I'm sorry. Good day. Good day. Ah, uh, please, I'm here to see Miss Oluchi. I hope all is well. Sure. Good day, ma. Hi. Um, message from Mrs. Anita. Oh my God! It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, ma. <gasps> Thank you so much. Oh my God, she remembered my birthday. Yeah. Um, God bless. She'd like to speak with you. Okay. Yes. This is so beautiful. Thank you. 
So, sweetheart? Yes, Papa? Before we eat, how about I introduce you to someone? Who? That special nice lady we talked about. Where is she? Bubbles? Papa said he'll introduce me to the nice lady and the special one. And who is she? I don't know. Okay. Um. So sweetheart. It's the special one. What? Oh my god, I have to be dreaming. <laughs> Dramatic. Someone pinch me. Oh, come on. Pinch you. Ow! I'm not dreaming. You're 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 not dreaming. you are not Wait, 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 are you serious? No, Can you see me? No. What no, happened to that no. Prince Charming or something? You're her Prince Charming, not mine. Uh, You're my Shrek. You know what? I'm gonna be right I don't you. think I should <laughs> let her name me. Please give me a name. Okay. He's mine. I'm Shrek. Shrek. See, he's my Shrek. He's mine. Bubbles. Friends. <sighs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs>